what's up man and hello guys welcome back to my channel now because i upload almost every day honey four days feels like such a long time now anyway i hope you guys are having a good day i hope you guys are having a good sunday now for Papa zandela kumaru is being accused by mpumalanga businessman of crooking him out of money and sending him fake proof of payment when he pestered her for payment now sabi lundlabati the owner of trendy joints called paradise carved pub and grill in babylon said he booked and paid Dozandela of 40,000 rand to perform at his pub on Saturday. Now, in addition to the performance fee, he also paid her 3,000 rands for accommodation. Now, he said Uzandile was fetched and brought to his establishment from a local swanky hotel together with her manager and husband, Um Kumete. He said while Uzandile was writing her stuff, her husband got on stage to speak to the songtress. Now, after a few minutes, said Untlabati Kumete approached him and told him that there was something wrong with their children at home and asked him to lend them 3,000 rands urgently. I then asked my daughter to um, transfer the money. I explained to them that they had an emergency with the kids at home and needed the money urgently. He said his daughter transferred the money into Gumeda's account. They promised to pay it back the following day. When several days passed without payment, he pestered them to do so, especially because as his daughter complained, she was unable to balance their financial books because of the 3,000 rands. Now, Gumeda sent proof of payment via WhatsApp. I realized that it was fake because the money did not reflect into my account. Regrettably, we have to expose Mshonisha Kumete, Zandile Kumalo's manager, for being a scammer. Despite all hospitality, the Kov in particular and Umchindi offered to them over the past weekend, he still had the audacity to scam the Kov. We gave him five days to correct his ways and he refused. I hope this will trend to prevent him from scamming other non suspecting establishments and individuals. Okay, so these are the screenshots, guys. Oh, this is the screenshot. All right. Morning, this is Sabelo from Babitan Kindly and immediately affect my refund please 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 imagine begging for your money <laughs> hi sabelo it was paid this morning reference paradise refund from an mmm gumede apsa account will forward you pop proof of payment when i reach my destination and he forwarded the pop but then he deleted after he um confronted him with well, this is faking daughter what are you doing you know now, Ndlabati said when he contacted them again, they started dragging him, honey, all right? And they started calling him names, including farm boy and all of that, right? Now, he continued to say, farm boy or not, I want my money. If they don't pay me, I'm going to the lawyers and we'll take them to the small claims court, he said. Now, Kumede said he did not pay him back because he threatened him with violence. He also denied that they sent him fake proof of payment now there you have it some zanzi don't let me know guys what you think in the comments section down below now to summarize the whole thing was andile kumalo and um okay was andile kumalo was booked to perform okay so this guy's pub and grill she came with her husband her husband is apparently her manager when they got there i guess after the performance because the article says nothing about you know them not performing or her not performing she borrowed three thousand rands and said there was an emergency right and promised to pay it back mind you they were already paid forty thousand rands plus a three thousand rands accommodation plus they were also fetched so borrowed the three thousand rands from the pub you know from the owner the owner gave zandile the three thousand rands and the husband but they refused to pay it back okay they refused to pay it back instead of paying it back they send fake proof of payment instead of admitting and apologizing they then started dragging them now everybody knows so that is not shocking they would say they started dragging them and calling him fanboy and all other names all right anyway do let me know guys what you think of the comments section down below